Hi, I'm Brian Chow. Welcome to Syntax Technologies. Today, we will discuss about SQL accounting software, e-invoice module, how to edit a validated e-invoice. Let's get started. The first thing you need to know that after an invoice validated by RHDN as an e-invoice, you cannot edit the e-invoice. You need to do cancellation first. Take an example. After you send the validated e-invoice to your customer, your customer requests amendment or you find out there is some mistake in the validated invoice, what you need to do is you need to do cancellation. Take an example, we go to invoice and we found that there is one invoice that just validated got problems. So if you want to do amendment or editing, you need to go to this invoice, go to this icon and click cancel validated e-invoice. Select and reason, example wrong invoice details click initiate cancellation. You will actually notify RHDN that you want to cancel this invoice and you'll get approval. After get this approval, then only you can do edit. Maybe the customer requests 10% discount, then save it and submit again. After sending, you actually will get the latest validated e-invoice. And please make sure RHDM will have to record that you have already sent the initial invoice for validation, get approved, and then you have sent the cancellation and resubmit again. So please remember, according to the guide, you only have 72 hours after the invoice has been validated as an e-invoice to do amendment, cancellation, or editing. After 72 hours, you need to go through credit note or debit note to do editing for an e-invoice. Please join my social media Facebook forum, WhatsApp channel to get the latest information regarding SQL accounting software and also my latest sharing regarding e-invoice. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.